Savannah, Georgia is a coastal city with a population around 100,000. It's known for its vibrant history, being designated by the U.S. government as one of the largest national historic landmark districts in the country, and much more. But there's one thing that sets Savannah apart from other cities, and the way its design combats the problems that are so commonplace in other American cities. Savannah, unlike other American cities, is made up of wards. These wards are squares similar to city blocks consisting of a park in the middle, 40 lots making up a residential area, and 4 service lots which could also be used for commercial development in some cases. Despite having a centralized downtown near the river, there are also commercial buildings located more remote from the center of the city. This improves walkability substantially in a way that is not visible in other cities. For example, this corner cafe is inside a neighborhood, so people can just simply walk to it instead of having to drive to the downtown core. The wards were built in a copy and paste fashion which creates small, quaint communities that still belong in a huge city. This also prevents unnatural new neighborhoods that don't match the rest of the city from forming. This plan implemented by John Oglethorpe was unique because there was nothing like it at the time that he designed it. If you want to go more in depth about this mystery of this design, City Beautiful has a great video about the mystery of Savannah's planning. These wards can be found throughout the historic districts of the city. In their 2033 downtown plan, they will be expanding the grid of the city both east and westerly. This is great news for the city as it is continuing one of the things that makes Savannah so great, its walkability. Due to how walkable the historic downtown is, there aren't many bike lanes. There is one or two bike lanes that run through the center of the city to the suburbs, which gives suburbanites access to the city without having to take a car. I honestly don't really think there needs to be more. There are lots of yellow signs marked with a bicycle all over the city, and that probably means that they share the road with cars. Even though bicycles should be more protected than this, I would be totally fine with sharing the road with many of Savannah streets because they seem to have low speed limits and are light on traffic. Also, there seems to be more bike lanes on the way, as they were shown in the 2033 plan. Because of its historical preservation, picturesque streets, and sensible planning, Savannah has become a fantastic and livable city. Savannah is a great example of how a city combats suburban sprawl, and it is a design that many cities in America can implement to do the same.